Good day, YouTube, and welcome to another episode of the Albino Rhino Beer Review. The Boy Chuck. The Rhino. Uh, Muskoka Summer Vice, or Summer Weiss, or Summer Wheat, however you want to think of it. It is a 5% alcohol beer, 750 milliliters. Um, vintage 2011. We're a little early, it's not aged yet. Uh, brewed at the Muskoka Brewery in Cottage Country. Uh, it's a seasonal wheat beer. Uh, Commander Biddles is back there breaking bottles. I'm not breaking bottles. The perfect balance of wheat, barley, and subtle hopping makes this an intriguing, aromatic, flavorful, and seasonable summer wheat. To release more flavors, agitate the bottle slightly before opening. So, let's agitate the bottle. You know what's going to happen, right? From agitating the bottle? Yep. Okay. You're covering Lachlan with a shit. That's what you're going to fucking do. <laughs> no, Lachlan's good. Okay, remember. Intriguing, delicious summer wheat beer. I got the paper towels in close proximity because I agitated this beer. It wasn't that bad. Only my eyes yeah, it's have beer out. in them. Yeah, it's fine. That's kind of shocking. Yeah. Nice pop. Some smoke. We both have our Bugsy glasses. Uh, glasses. If uh, Ken was here, I would have harassed him again about not finishing the beer challenge. Aww, Ken is <laughs> There you go. Let's use this lamp beside me. Ooh, look at that. Okay. So. Just like a wheat beer, it's unfiltered, like it's supposed to be. Better than the uh, grasshopper wheat I just had, because that was filtered. Ah, uh, amber gold color again. We both had some head, but it's pretty much gone. Smells like it's supposed to. Coriander, citrus. Malt, hops. Just what you'd expect. Wheat, and that's kind of fucking weird. Kind of tastes like meat. What the hell is that fruit that's coming off of it? It's not orange. Do you get it though? A little bit, yeah. Like right at the end, there's some fruit, and I can't put my finger on it, but I've had it before. Lychee berry, maybe? Maybe. I mean, I used to eat those all the time, and it's something weird. It's something I remember. And it's a sweet, sweet fruit, and it's there in the back. And I could see it being lychee, or lychee, or whatever the fuck you want to say it. The weird Asian berry with the fucking piney skin on it. But it's not a bad taste, I mean. It's sweet the whole way through. There's no uh, bitterness at all on it. Which is kind of weird. But you get your citrus and coriander at the beginning. Super soft, super smooth as it goes across. Our power bar's falling over. Uh -huh. And the finish is just that, like, fruit flavoring. <laughs> the power bar's caught on a fucking plastic sword. That's <laughs> <laughs> well, it didn't fall over, that's all that matters. <laughs> Come on, Commander. I don't want to. What do you think? What's your final thoughts on this? I actually it's, don't mind it. It's, it's just not weird. Bad. I'd give it a 6 out of 10. I'd buy it, but... Just kind of on that brink. See, I'd put it at like a 6.5 out of 10. Only because... It is what I expect out of a wheat. Except for that weird finish. But that weird finish isn't bad. It's just... Weird. Weird. Yep. It's a fruity, sweet flavor. It, like he said, maybe lychee, I don't know, maybe like a really ripe banana. I I can't put my finger on it. It might be because I've been drinking. But I can't put my finger on what the flavor is. But it's there, and I don't mind it. And it makes this white taste really good. I think squeezing an orange in it would fuck it up. Which yeah. most people do for most whites. I think squeezing any citrus into it would fuck it up. It's 
very well balanced, and I'm giving it a 6.5. I'd pay for it again, and I'd probably drink it again. And that's the first Muskoka beer I've ever said that to, because most of these fucking cottage country beers fucking suck. Thank you for watching the Albino Rana Beer Review, and I'm not drunk. <laughs>